So here are three things you can do on the range to get those big foundational movements that you're gonna need no matter what your style or what iteration or how you like to move the club. These things you're gonna need. So the first one is posture. Again, this seems simple, but I can't tell you how many people mess this up. So put the club behind your shoulders if you can. Otherwise, you can put it in front. And what you're doing here is I want you to squeeze your glutes and tip from the hips and feel that forward bend and feel your glutes supporting that. Then make some twists. And while you're here, stop and take a look. That club shaft should be at an angle and it should be at an angle on the other side. And when you can get that range of motion and see the club at a forward bend, that gives you a sense of staying down. The second movement is with the arms and what your arms are doing, specifically the lead arm. So let's put it out in front and I want you to feel like it's close to your torso. You can even take your trail arm and pull it behind you. Make your back swing. And here's the deal, this will be your back swing. So you wanna feel it nice and long and away from you. Meanwhile, your shoulders and your trunk have done the turning. Your abs should feel really engaged right now. Now from here, I want you to rotate through. And this is the kicker. Keep your arm close to your rib cage. So as you're going through, the only way to get the arm through is if your whole trunk rotates it. I see so many people go like this, zing, and the arm just goes flying off on its own. That's basically the worst thing you can do because it creates all kinds of problems. So instead, I want you to feel that connection with your lead arm and your trunk. So the third warm-up drill is really from the ground. It's about your leg work. Find neutral, find 50-50, toe, heel, right, left, find that center. Get into your posture, glutes engaged so you're in that kind of forward bend. Now let's make a rotation, so you're gonna rotate you're gonna feel nice and strong with that trail leg. You might even feel a little bit of weight on the inside of that foot. Now watch this, we're gonna push into that front leg. So you're gonna wind up and push into that front leg. And notice, I'm not falling back there, and I'm also not swiveling on both feet. So that movement with your feet is gonna give you a good sensation of what you're gonna need on the golf course. And all three of these motions, no matter what your style play, no matter what your philosophy is, no matter what your swing idiosyncrasies might be, these are three big movements that can really help you play better on the course.